I said I put these in a paper sack. That's old school. I meant paper, brown paper bag to help them ripen. And I check this bag each and every day. And as they ripen, this is good Amish paste right here. As they ripen, um, I take them and I freeze them. So I've got quite a few in there. And over here also. And there's a yellow, uh, what do you call those? Yellow brandy wine. I don't know why it is when I start recording, I get amnesia. This is a yellow brandy wine. Nice. Nice size too. Can't wait to eat that one. Now these tomatoes are, have already been in the freezer. And as you can tell, they're hard as a rock. <laughs> there you go. And so I'm going to add these that I just finished cornering. And in this, this little tool you can find on Amazon, I believe it's, you probably look under a uh, tomato corer. Um, and I'm gonna put these in this bag and then they'll go in the freezer. Now, before preparing these to put in the freezer, I go ahead and take, scoop out the inside this neat little tool. I love this thing. <clears throat> and then I'll put them in freezer bags and they will go in the freezer until with the other the other bag that I showed until I get enough to start pressure canning. This celery is from my garden. One cup of chopped onions. I'm using red onions. This is gonna be so pretty. Um, look at all the different colors. I will now put on a low heat to simmer. Never lose this heaven. 